Hello YouTube, it's your boy Vintage Sterling Finds back for another exciting video. So, today we're going to show some thrift store finds, a small watch deal, and a great big bag of watches. So, if you like anything for here, it's all for sale on my Etsy store, link in the descriptions. If you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. I love hearing from you guys. So, this morning, I ran out to the thrift store. All this, I think, was like thirteen twenty. First item, three bucks. This is just a nice little sterling silver Italian bracelet. Cleaned up, thirty forty bucks all day long. Next up, we have a Seiko. Beautiful ladies' tank watch, miracle. Seiko quartz, four bucks. I found one on eBay. They're asking a hundred US. So this is a steal for four bucks. Next up, we got some cufflinks. I'm not huge into cufflinks. I buy them. Birmingham, two bucks. Just because they're sterling silver. I mean, I might try to sell these. Might scrap them. Not bad. Next order of business, some tie racks. Two bucks. Now, these are costume jewelry. Why I bought this, these are nothing. This is sterling. And I thought that's a beautiful pendant. First Nations designs always sell very well for me. So I'll definitely take this off, clean it, and sell it just as a pendant or charm. Yeah, because you can see this is just, yeah, costume. costume this is eh, costume now these they have to bring out the acid test I know you guys love seeing the acid test anytime I see these old bags of odds and sods I get excited and I look carefully now See, we have some like this. This one's plated. No. Some of the, you have stuff like this. Could even be silver. Uh, this looks like an earring. But why I bought this, I'll say this is not much. 14k so I have my acid test probably about a gram if I had to guess let's do this right in front of everybody if it evaporates it it's gold if it stays 14k this acid's brand new, couple weeks old, so we don't have to worry about that. Then we leave it like this. And you know, 15, 30 seconds. But as you can see that there's nothing removed. So it hasn't even touched this. So what that means, we have some gold. Wipe that off. And let's weigh that got my scale. Do a quick weigh. This is probably a little bit of weight. Yeah, so 1.9, so probably 0.8, uh, 40 something a gram, 35 bucks. Or even 30 bucks I paid too. Quick, easy money. So next, yesterday, I had a little watch deal. I picked up these. Beautiful Nixon watches. For both watches, I paid 20 bucks. This is a Darkness Prevails. Beautiful watch, needs battery. And this is a Insider. I like how Nixon names all the watches, that's kind of cool. Little bit of scratches there. 
but I have four extra links. So I was going to take these out, put in the new links, and sell it. For $10 each, that's a steal. Because I know you guys love seeing what I buy, how I buy it, why I buy it. Nixon watches, buy them. Good quality, good size. Um, see? My wrists are quite small, but still, that's a very nice size. So, for the main event, why you're all here, I paid $100 for a junk bag of watches. Now, I think two or three of the other videos are from this gentleman. So, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy. Now, I do try to make these videos a little bit fast, not boring. But I know a lot of you guys really like watches and don't mind the time. So, we're trying to find a good mix of both. First watch, banana, this is an old 80s quartz, and does it, don't know if it works or not, no, I haven't gone through this yet, I literally just bought them yesterday, I was out, came home, another one of those, and again, working, those are sellable watches, what's this? Amethyst fit? Don't know. I don't deal in smart watches mainly. This is a Caravelle. Does it run? No, but still, even a parts watch, and I could maybe clean it. Bezel will pop right off. It might fix it, might not. We'll have to see. This is a case. But again, that strap, I need straps desperately. That is a, yeah, gold filled. Goldest, this is a junk watch. This is part of a pulsar. Um, I'll probably take the strap, because that strap's quite nice. And then put it on a um, other watch. Another strap. What's this? Loris, but missing the battery cover. This is a Club R. This would be an expensive watch, but not in this condition. Never know, maybe parts watch. We have a Endura. Doesn't seem to want to work right now. We have this. Yeah, gold filled bracelet. Now, is this going to be gold? My opinion doesn't look like gold. Let's just put on another light for everybody. There we go. There we go. What's that homework say? Uh, I, yeah, that's not gold, has some corrosion. This is a, a Burgana, fully wound. Doesn't run. This is a Cardinal Quartz. This is a nice watch, definitely sellable. If you're wondering, this Madonna is still at 12. So I think it probably just needs a new battery. Here we have an Illuminator Casio. But again, this is just so far worn. Oh, what's this? Uh, okay, Town Craft Electric. Probably put in the battery. If that runs or not, who knows? Let's see, do the hands. I mean, it turns, that's decent. And what's this? Prestige, 17 jewels. The balance looks okay. 
Let's open it and just see if this does anything. Let's see if we wind it. Yeah, fully wound. So this, so this is a nice old Timex. Change the battery, that should run. Let's see, what's this? Knock off Timex. Van door, no crown. What's this? Yeah, you can see it's plated, but the bracelet's nice. Here we go. So mal. Oh. Good. So this watch, I should be able to make my money on just this one. Um, straps and needs an 18 millimeter. But still, clean up the dial. New strap. That should be at least, you know, close to the high rock. Disney Pirates of the Caribbean. Made in China. Timex Indiglo. Uh, it probably works, but look at the um, crown. Here we go. Ooh, look at that. Old Caraval Quartz. Polish that up. Take a toothbrush to it. P0, that'd be 1980. That's nice. But see, I would probably even take this strap. Oh no, that's a 18 millimeter. Okay. It's still working. This is going to be worth a little bit of money. This is a nice watch. I like that a lot. Oh, what's this? Hammond Special. Okay, I've seen these before. Does it work? No, fully wound. Play with it a bit. You never know. Oh, Timex watercolor. 90s. Kind of cool. Aluminum frame. Find a nice small strap for it. Fun little watch. Okay, this is kind of cool. Automatic. It runs. Jowis Jawisha? I don't know this brand, but it's automatic Swiss 70s. Polish it a little bit. I think that's going to be a good watch. Runs well. I mean, I think that's going to be at least a $60, $70 watch. Maybe more. This guy I saw I quite liked. Timex Canucks. You know, polish the crystal. Spring bar. Velcro strap. That's a neat little watch. That'll definitely move in this market. Uh, let's see. What's this? Money clip. But yeah, missing the glass crown. Frontenac. Waterproof, shockproof. Does it? Yeah, fully wound. Yeah, no tick. So yeah, probably, maybe we'll try fixing it. Oh, that's cool. Old Casio Illuminator. Again, I think I have some of those uh, retro Casio straps. That's nice. It looks almost brand, you know, the glass is there. Nice little find. Now what's this Canadian flag? Oh, TD. I mean, straps usable. Kind of a cool watch if it works. Another one of those Medana. I think these were sold at Walmart if I remember right. Caravel. I think this is an electric. Trans. Transistor, guys? I don't know that word. I don't know what that means, but it's a M9. Is that 89? 
I guess battery. I'm still, it's a nice little watch. Timex, but I just think that's gonna be toast. Those older LCD watches I don't have much luck with. What's this? I wonder if that's, is that gonna be gold? Mm, almost looks like gold. Here's, a, oh, here's my scratch. We can just do a quick. Probably not, but you never know. Just 10k. Let's see, is that just gonna eat it? Yeah, it's just eating it away. Yeah, just ate that away like nothing. Didn't think that was gold. Broken strap. No, sorry, where is it? I mean, that's just caked on with grime. Let's say top. Yeah, it's a gold filled. Nice Timex. Don't know that brand. Let's see, we have a McDonald's. Daniel David. Okay. Oh, it still has the protective plastic. I'll look that up. If it's worth some money, I'll sell it. If not, won't worry about it. Harvester. Oh, I see the second hand is um broken. It's under the hour. You know, here's a nice little strap. Good. One cuff link. Sports watch. Is that a... Yeah, it's a crack. Damn, that was a nice watch. Then we have, what's this gonna be? Newer quartz. Newer quartz. Bracelet. Kind of a cool old bracelet. And that's the end of it. Thanks for watching. Um, we will see you on the next one.